Hello, welcome to Holistic HR Hub. Good evening all. In this learning episode, I'll be focusing on HR analytics episode number three. In the earlier two episodes, we have seen the basics of HR analytics. That is the episode number one and episode number two. In episode number three, we are going to take a look at the HR analytics maturity curve which comprises of five stages or five levels. Level one or stage one is a tribal level. If the organization is at a tribal level, the metrics are department driven. It's manual metrics. There is a significant variation and the metrics within the department and the organization are disconnected and repeatable. This is the elementary stage or rudimentary stage organization is at a fundamental level and it's a long way to grow in the maturity curve. This is level one or stage one. Level two or stage two is known as redeployable. Sure, the HR metrics is consistent within the department and there is a technology. It's not manually driven. There is a stack and processes are repeatable within the department but still there is no linkage to the organization or integration with the organization level at level two it's an improvement over level one moving on to level three scaled sure the organization would focus on wide level adoption that is the hr anal analytics is adopted organization wide and Maturity levels are achieved. Same level of maturity levels are achieved across departments. And there is a linkage between the organization, between the department and the organization. There is integration. There is alignment. So this is known as scaled. I would say many organizations are somewhere between redeployable and scaled. That is level 2 and level 3. Every organization should start its HR analytics journey depending upon the level where it is currently and where it wants to be in the future now moving on to level four level four is described as agile in the hr analytics maturity curve agile means the organization is able to evolve and rapidly change to the environment and whatever the changes in the industry it is able to follow it at a at very fast very swiftly any transformation it is able to adopt, it has the ability to meet or exceed current as well as future requirements. So the organization is at a different level. Moving on to the final level, the highest level, which is known as market leader. If an organization has to be a market leader in HR analytics, it means that the HR analytics is C-suit driven. C-suit means the board of directors, your corporate, your CEOs, CXOs, etc. It is globally integrated. Organization would be operating at the global level, a multinational company operating in 50 or 60 countries and it is globally integrated. It defines the industry metrics at this level and it transforms the particular business or sector model. So with this, we have seen the five levels of HR analytics maturity curve beginning from level 1 to level 5. You will have to find out where your organization stands in this level and accordingly frame a roadmap 